Hey, hello, what's up guys? It is a brand new vlog and we're actually just about to head out the door to get some groceries because our house is completely empty from not being in it for the weekend. So Frederick's down here with our little reusable bags and we're going to go get some groceries. <laughs> Before we get into this vlog any further, I just want to say thank you for supporting our channel and our family. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and join our family. But let's head to the shops. Of course, I totally forgot to bring out my camera while I'm getting the groceries, but my uh, trolley's almost full and we still need to go to the fresh food market to go get all our vegetables. It's so much cheaper than going to Woolworths. So, got my trolley full, Frederick's riding it. I'm gonna pay for it and then go to the fresh food market. We are home and I thought I would do a tiny mini grocery haul for you guys. Even though it's not that many because I have three bags. Extra virgin oil, minced garlic, frozen peas and corn, almond milk, oh. noodle, barbecue sauce, popcorn, vegetarian sausage roll, cat food, avocado, banana, mushroom, tomato, wholemeal bread, gluten free bread, English muffin, raw buckwheat, protein ball, vegan sausages, raw sugar, red seedless grape, Brussels sprout, corn on the cob, and broccoli. And that's everything that I got today at the grocery store. So now that I've had my little popcorn treat and I have got popcorn stuck in my teeth, I'm going to actually make some lunch because the past weekend when I was in Melbourne, we didn't really eat very healthy. The only times we ate really good food is when we went out for Thai and we had Thai twice. So the only time I really ate good was when I was eating Thai food. All the other times I literally was just surviving on chips and it just wasn't good for my body. So I've had minimal vegetables over the whole weekend. So I really just want to pile a bunch of vegetables in one dish and just eat. So I think for lunch I'm gonna pack on my sausage rolls because I love my sausage rolls. And I'm gonna do some baked broccoli, cauliflower, corn, Brussels sprouts. I might put in some carrots too. Frederick is having a little bit of quiet time and I really just want to sit down and have a chat to you guys about something that I'm going through and I kind of just need some support because I just I just need it. I didn't think I would be talking about this and I didn't think that I would be talking about it like yet if I was going to because I've been really nervous about talking about it but while I was at VidCon I actually met this girl at VidCon and she had gone through what I've been like kind of going through at the moment it's opened up to her and it just made me think that I, I need to be more honest with you guys and I need to open up with you guys and just let you know that I am not perfect <laughs> and I've got stuff going on and that life and life isn't always positive. Um, basically I've I've been having really negative thoughts towards food and this has happened before. It's happened when Frederick was very young and I was having very bad thoughts about food. And back then I was actually, you know, skipping meals or whatever, but I'm not skipping meals, I'm not not eating, I'm not eating and then vomiting up, I'm actually just having thoughts about doing it, but it's just as thoughts and I just kind of just wanted to open up to you guys about this because it is getting me down because I am having these thoughts and I know I shouldn't and I know personally I shouldn't because I've had someone quite close to me go through this like 
this and I know I shouldn't but lately I've been following a lot of people I probably shouldn't be following on social media and it's just getting me down a lot they think these things are going through my head a lot and I really just kind of want to do or to know that I'm not dealing very well with certain things in my life at the moment and I would really appreciate it if you guys could support me through this and even if you're like in a week or two like comment something or send me a message on Instagram or whatever be like Amy I just want to know how you're doing and I'm here and all that kind of stuff it would really help me out if you guys could support me <sighs> well that's that I don't know where to go with the rest of the day from now on because I feel like I I'm just gonna be really mellow for the rest of the day I feel like because of that conversation <sighs> give me 10 minutes and I'll probably be hyper again yeah it's it's weird opening up sometimes because you're just worried about how people are gonna take it and I am worried about how people are gonna take what I just said I guess I'll see when I upload this I'm gonna check on Frederick to see if he's asleep or not because I am trying a new routine with Frederick where he just goes to sleep for an hour um, through the day so he sleeps better through the night. He's asleep. Yay, I'm just gonna get rid of his iPad. I'm gonna give him a kiss. Uh. I'm actually going to the airport tonight to pick up Jason. I'm really excited to pick up Jason. I haven't seen him for three weeks, so it's going to be so good to pick up Jason. Um, finally see him. And you're probably all confused on what's going on with Jason's job lately, just because I haven't really updated you guys on what's going on with Jason's job or why he has been away for so long instead of his n usual eight days. But basically, Jason has been covering a, a couple of people over the last two two and a bit months um so they can go on leave and have holidays with their families um jason just likes to cover people so he one get extra pay and two can help people go have holidays with their families and he knows that people will, will repay him one day so he's just doing it out of the goodness of his heart but i finally get to see him and i'm so excited to finally see my man. It's been a couple of hours and we are heading <laughs> off to the airport. Frederick's so excited to see his daddy. Is Tiger being silly? Tiger is being very silly. Are you excited to see daddy? Okay. Have you got a card for daddy? Do you want to show everybody your card that you're going to give to daddy when he gets into the car from the airport? Show everybody. <gasps> Let me see. Oh, wow. Frederick, do you want to open it up? Okay. What does it say? What does Eight. it say? It says, Daddy's home. Love, Freddy. Yes. You excited to see Daddy? It's green. It is green. Don't wreck it. Do you want to get... You want Mommy to hold it? Do you want to get into the car so we can go pick up Daddy? We decided to go from the airport to go get some dinner. Normally we either have dinner on the way home or I've already cooked it. But we decided to get it out today. Are you going to go to sleep on the way home? I hope not, Freddy. Because it's money starts to eat in your pajamas. 
So we decided to go get some grilled and then we're gonna go get some um, pretzels from the pretzel place, but it was a 15 minute wait. So we decided to go to Coles, get some uh, so good ice cream and a block of vegan chocolate and we're gonna eat that on the way home instead of getting some pretzels for dessert. We've got home now from picking up Jason and going out for dinner. We didn't realize how late it was. We got into the car and it was like quarter past eight and we're like, um, it is Frederick's bedtime and we are not home and he is not in his pajamas. So we had to get home and we got home. Frederick was already asleep. So we had to change him while he was asleep. Um, and we did it. <laughs> we succeeded in that, but we're now home and I think we're just gonna jump into bed cause I have to get up quite early cause I have work tomorrow, but I'm actually, a little bit knackered and I know Jason's knackered because he's been up since 2 30 in the morning so I know he's tired and he really wants to go to bed but obviously we're going to end the vlog so I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog and we'll see you guys in a couple of days bye